What's up bird watchers? Today's video is all about flightless birds. Flightless birds were God's first attempt at normal birds. <laughs> Did it fly? No. Damn it! First on the list is the kiwi, named after its close resemblance to the fruit. If you squint your eyes and chug some bourbon, they're almost indistinguishable. If you ask me, it looks more like a cake pop than a kiwi. Kiwis are found in New Zealand and are Darwin's wet dream. You see, about 80 million years ago, New Zealand only had birds and lizards. One day, the kiwi gathered all of its friends and family together and said, Guys, this is really hard for me to say, but I am a mammal. <gasps> no son of mine is a mammal. Randy, I'm going to stay with the geckos for a few days. I think that's best. How'd it go? Now you might be wondering, Max, you just said that the kiwi was a mammal, but this is a video about birds. What the hell's going on here? First off, watch your tone, young man. Second, the kiwi is actually considered to be an honorary mammal. In terms of houses, the kiwi took the Minecraft approach. Just dug a hole in the ground and was like, mmm, yes, quite cozy. Now I know what you're thinking. Why are their beaks so long? Their beaks are so long because they use them to dig into dirt and logs. Fun fact about the kiwi, their eggs are about 20% the size of their body when laid. To put that into perspective, that's like a human giving birth to a two-year-old. God, that image is disturbing. Baby kiwis stay inside the egg for two to three months, so by the time they hatch, they're adult kiwis, and they can do adult kiwi stuff like hunting and taxes. Next on the list is the ostrich. The ostrich is native to Africa, and they typically live in prides. They're the largest birds on Earth, and their eyes are bigger than their brains. They look like something God made during a party game. Hey God, it's your turn. All right, all right. A giraffe mixed with a vulture. Oh, man. Oh, that's going to be a tough one. Ostriches are the fastest bipedal animals in the world, thanks to their two-toed feet and legs that resemble those of Scotty Pippen. Ostriches also have the biggest eyes of any land animal. That's right, its eyes are bigger than a lion's, an elephant's, and even Boris Johnson's. They kind of look like those toys you got as a kid, where you'd squeeze them and the eyes would pop out. This has nothing to do with ostriches. I just can't get this image out of my head. Next on the list is the emu. And yes, this is just a redyed ostrich, because that's what emus are. The emu is like the ostrich's inbred cousin. The ostrich stands at 9 feet tall and 250 to 300 pounds while the emu stands at 6 feet tall and 80 to 130 pounds. The ostrich's neck is 3 feet long, while the emu's is 1 foot long. The ostrich can run 45 miles per hour, while the emu can only run 30. If the ostrich is YouTube, the emu is Vimeo. However, the emu does have some redeeming qualities. For one, it has three toes instead of two. Another is that the dad takes care of the eggs instead of the mom. And during this, the dad doesn't eat anything. I, uh, I don't know what emu eggs look like, so I assume they also look like something out of Dr. Seuss. You look awful, man. Yeah, I've just been having a tough time ever since Amy left. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Did she take the kids with her? No, she left them. All 50 of them. I woke up one day and poof, she's gone. No phone call, no text messages, nothing. I haven't had anything to eat in three months because I'm a single dad trying to feed 50 kids. So you're damn right I look awful. Well, uh, good luck with that. I'm, I'm gonna go. Fun fact, emus eat rocks to help with digestion, whereas I eat rocks because the voices in my head tell me to. Next on the list is the penguin. The penguin is my personal favorite because of its overall body shape. It closely resembles that of Mama June from Honey Boo Boo. Terrible posture, about 50% of its body weight is fat, and a lack of neck. Every year, about 30 to 50,000 emperor penguins would flock to Haley Bay in Antarctica to mate. It was the happy feet equivalent to Burning Man. Notice how I'm using the past tense, because back in 2016, due to a mixture of global warming and the fact that there were 50,000 giant horny birds, the ice straight up collapsed. On a more serious note, this actually killed a lot of baby penguins and took out about 10% of the entire emperor penguin population. So if we want happy feet 3, we gotta stop global warming. That's going to do it for today's video. I want to apologize for my little hiatus there. Also, I want to thank y'all for 3,000 subscribers. 
If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. That's a threat. I love y'all and have a great day. I was like 16, started making beats. Then I turned 17, started making heat. I was like 16 when I fell in love. When I was 15. Fun fact. Emo's e Emo's.